but of course, let yes. me say a few opening remarks because I can't uh, ignore Tsipi uh, Khotovelli, Deputy Foreign Minister Tsipi Khotovelli remarked which said that a whole generation was uh, asking 15 years for peace, Dor Shalem, Darash Shalom, Chamesra Shana, and in return he got the BDS. The answer is, would that generation have gotten a, a peace, then probably there would not be a BDS now. And, and I think that's the answer to uh, Tsipi Khotovelli, which uh, uh, she uh, ignores it. Because guys, what we could have done 10 years ago, we cannot do today. And what we can do today, we won't be able to do in 10 years from now. It always reminds me about the story about a husband and wife age 90, were very poor, but helped the community with whatever they could. And they, they came and they reached heaven and the angel meets them and tells them, listen, you have done very well all your life, although you were poor, you help everybody, we are going to reciprocate now. And he takes them and shows them a beautiful house with a swimming pool, six people are waiting to serve them. They are going to the second floor, they open the window, they see a garden of roses and the husband turns to his wife and said, you see, if it were not for you and your health food, we could have been here ten years ago. <laughs> and, and I think that's the issue. We could have been there ten years ago, including with the Arab Peace Initiative, because in the end of the day, both sides need the Arab Peace Initiative. It's not only us, it's the Palestinian too, and I think that's part of the answer. We need it because we have to show the Israeli, the average Israeli on the street, that he gets something in return of what he's giving to the Palestinians. Now, if you tell him, listen, in return you are going to get peace. It's not tangible. It's not something that the average man on the street can touch. Uh, it's not by incident that the word peace didn't come up in the whole uh, election campaign of most of the people, most of the parties. Because the average man on the street tell him you get peace in return. He said, thank you, give me a security, I don't need peace. But if you show him that there is something that he is getting in return, I think that will make him change his mind. It always reminds me when in the morning, day before the peace, the Oslo Accord was signed in the uh, White House lawn, September 13, Rabin was told, let's on our way back make a stop in Morocco. And he asked, why do we need Morocco? And now we are now dealing with the Palestinian. Tell us if I have to shake his hand or not. He meant Arafat. And the answer was, if in the in Yediot Achonot or any other newspaper, the next day will be only one picture of you shaking Arafat's hands, it's one story. If alongside this picture will be a picture of you shaking the hand of the king of Morocco, the message to the Israeli people is there is a peace dividend. And I think on those lines, we need it in order to show the Israeli people there is something you are getting in return. But the Palestinians also need it. Because in front of them, there are very, very tough decisions to take. Jerusalem, the refugees, security, borders, those are tough decisions. Any Palestinian leader, regardless who he is, if he will be able to come to his people and to tell them, listen, it's not only my decision, it's a decision which is backed up by the whole Arab world, he will be able to deliver. If he will come to them and say, it's my decision, I'm not sure he will be able to deliver any resolution or any solution for the uh, refugees and the others. So it's uh, something which both sides uh, need, and I think it's about time that we'll uh, go, and Israeli government should take the initiative 
and say, yes, let's sit around the table and talk about the Arab Peace Initiative. Phase one, after we'll agree between all of us about the Arab Peace Initiative, we'll sit with the Palestinians with the backing of the Arab world and we'll solve the rest of the problem. So you mean to there is no way one can sit on deal on the Arab Peace Initiative without the Palestinians. But you 